beat me to it. <laughs> hey guys, it's Beastie, and today I'm going to talk about getting back into Battlefield 4 and other first-person shooters, and man, just how frustrating it can be. You know, it's been pretty frustrating me for me for the last week. Um, but, you know, obviously I've been gone for a long time and I haven't played games in almost five and a half months, which is crazy. And actually, I think it's probably the longest I've never um, or ever not played any games in like the last 10 years. Uh, I have this problem where I'm really rusty, both with my aim and just like kind of like my overall mindset when I'm playing, especially in competitive matches uh, when I come back from anything. But, you know, this has been a long time. You know, I need to play for at least you know two weeks but play a lot in that time to really get my aim back but the problem is now I have to come back to a different DPI and in-game sensitivity you know I've always played with a high sensitivity for example anywhere around 1300 to 1800 DPI and around 18 to 24 in-game sensitivity but now I change it to 800 DPI and 13 in-game so you know this makes it uh, a little bit more difficult since I've almost cut it in half, or I have really. So you're probably wondering, you know, why did you change it? Especially when I wasn't really having any troubles, especially in Battlefield. Well, this comes down to me playing competitive a lot more in Battlefield 4, and with a lot more, you know, really good players who have insanely fast aim, amazing accuracy, you know, averaging around 25 to 35% accuracy. Uh, with high RPM weapons and you know, they just have very good recoil control. So I have to be on top of my game really. I've always done pretty damn good against most NA comp players, but after showing some buddies my clips, you know, they told me my accuracy was was really good, but all the tiny movements that I was having to make when enemies were moving side to side, you know, since my DPI and in-game sense were so high, this was, you know, hurting my accuracy because it was difficult to be dialed in all the time. And the funny thing is, uh, now that I'm back, I'm still averaging around 20 to 22% accuracy, even with the high RPM weapons. But I think, you know, my problem is right now, you know, one, my recoil control is just, you know, terrible. And, uh, you know, I'm assuming there's like something's changed. It just could be because of my rust, but I'm assuming something with the gun mechanics or, you know, just different changes in the weapons and how they act and stuff. It just seems a little bit different to me, but that could just be rust. And two, right now I'm, you know, not really able to do a quick 180 uh, since my DPI has been lowered a lot more. And um, I'm, you know, I'm just used to making small wrist movements. And now, you know, my shit new mouse that you saw in my, my last video is just too damn small for that. So I can't make those bigger wrist movements. So it's a little bit difficult, but I'm getting slowly getting there. You know, for those who need some help slowly getting better accuracy in general, I left a link or two in the description to help you out. And uh, you can help me out by answering one of one or two of these questions. You know, what do you guys do when you're rusty? You know, those who have a lower DPI and have had the lower DPI for a long time, or maybe you just changed like me. If you got any tips uh, while I'm just starting out, uh, that would be great. And I guess, you know, what guns are the best now and what are the best attachments? I didn't really keep on top of the changes while I was gone for obvious reasons. I was traveling and stuff. Uh, so if you could update me on that, that'd be awesome as well. So, you know, leave your, your thoughts, your experiences and tips, all that stuff down in the comment section. And, you know, don't forget to leave me a like, guys. Keep my spirit up, you know. Have a good one. See you in the next video.